Dear Diary, greetings. Today is the 24th of June 2013. I just have something to share today. I keep talking about the four different powers uh, that any human being has. Uh, today I'd like to modify that slightly and add a fifth power to my churn that's going on in my head. So uh, for this I wish to thank my nephew um, Abdul Arham Khan. Uh, while I was pontificating on the four powers to another one of my cousins and he was getting terribly bored, this guy piped up and said, look, you always talked about this other thing. How is it linked to this? And, and kind of I gave him some, mm, some kind of an answer, but then that uh, got the wheels moving. So in summary, what are the four powers which I keep talking about? Look at a hu think of a human being. One power is this one that's the power of knowledge right understanding what's happening around you why it's happening and then acting accordingly therefore that's a that's a power right uh, when you know what electricity is you can make use of it you can gain power from that when you know what drives people you can possibly um, i don't know build a religion and uh, uh, get people to follow your your whims and fancies so that's uh, the power of knowledge um, that's available to almost everyone it's it's a supremely personal uh, power because it sits with you only and nobody can actually you know take it away from you nobody can steal it nobody can tax it it's yours of course uh, when you go uh, bonkers or when you die that power goes away except maybe it stays in your writings or sayings or whatever but it is not available to you anymore but then life is not available to you anymore so it's okay so one in my view the prime the most important power is the power of knowledge next the course of power the power of the muscle the power be uh, of being able to force people to do something that you want that's generally uh, the power to be able to threaten and execute upon violence. That power was traditionally available to individuals and you have all these big conquerors like uh, whoever, you know, like Alexander and, and all the so-called great kings and so on and so forth. All of them had that, that power and it was available to individuals earlier. But now we have all ceded that to the state. So now only state can execute upon that power. Only state can threaten violence. And that it does through its agencies like the police or the military and so on and so forth. Uh, the next power is the cumulative power. So imagine I'm standing up and drumming my tummy. Stomach is is the symbol of the third power why stomach because it accumulates and what do you accumulate what kind of a power is it in popular parlance that would be the power of money what is money money is nothing but the representation of natural resources controlled by human beings Alternatively, it can be called a claim on human labor. So essentially, we have monetized um, many things, almost everything in our life. That The trend is towards monetizing every damn thing in life today. Parents actually, especially in Western societies, parents actually, you know, pay their own children in order to babysit their younger siblings. Now, in, in a slightly less virulent form money is actually the abstraction of uh, everything else that a human being wants or or has or claims a right over so i claim a right over a piece of land you can actually buy it from me you can pay me the kind of money that i want you can buy it from me i claim a right to my own knowledge my own working hours my own skills and you can actually hire it and pay me some some salary and i'd work for you so so that's the third uh, power 
now this is again a personal power but then money can be stolen from you it can be taxed so so there are uh, flip sides to that it's a powerful power yet it can be taken away unlike the first power the power of knowledge can't really be taken away unlike the second power the coercive power that's already been taken away or or rather i'm happy i'm happy that we've ceded it to the state i don't want to be fighting every uh, mawali in the street uh, and proving that i am stronger than him no i'd rather that the state takes care of it in exchange i agree that i'll not do violence to anyone and reign in the state from unduly exercising that power so then we reached the third power which is the cumulative power fourth power think of uh the legs right what do the legs do with the legs you can actually march in step you can lead you can have people follow you you can get to some place with other people organizational power now that is also available to individuals so today what you have is um legislative assemblies in democracies what is that it's actually organizing different people getting them to follow you you become their leader you become maybe member of the legislative assembly from your area right eventually you hope to become i don't know prime minister or president or whatever in non governmental areas also organizational power counts you could be running an ngo there by organizing an effort to get something done which a government organization cannot be doing organizational power can also be trade union power so many other things so that's the four powers now what my nephew arham asked me was that you keep talking about the greatest power being service is that the fifth power and i kind of said yes i said it's it's a different kind of power and then i said i need to put it in the same structure so the fifth power the power which you gain after having served remember this is different from the power of accumulation the accumulative power from the money power in terms of you can actually make me work by paying me a salary you you can actually make me want to work for you by paying me a good salary but there the first thing you're promising is the salary that if i do this then you're going to pay me that so it's a strictly monetary transaction if i don't do that you'll throw me out but the power of service the power that comes out of service is different you serve you don't know whether you'll get some kind of a return or not and that return could yes be monetary but that could also be in uh in in one of the other ways like for example if i serve somebody that person could give me a certain knowledge right so so yes but how does it i believe that if i serve people i will get some return from at least some of the people and i see that as a kind of power available to me that's why my current motto servito ergo sum and elsewhere i have written on that so servito ergo sum how does it link into this here hmm? here heart when i serve you i create a certain emotional currency metaphorically speaking this power sits in the heart of course physically speaking it doesn't but then all other powers are also metaphorical right when i say coercive power 
uh, today that power is more of i don't know atomic bomb or uh, or aircraft carrier or ak47 or whatever but all this is metaphorical right so the fifth power is the power to create emotional currency the emotional power the power that sits in the heart now how do you gain that you can gain that only through service only through love only through unconditional love that's the kind of power which my mom had on me uh, well i wouldn't call her love unconditional but that's fine now that uh, she's no more i i don't need to analyze her anymore because any knowledge gained from that will not help me in the relationship with her so fifth power the emotive power stationed in the heart how do you gain it by serving why serving because primarily it's the power of love you gain that power basically by giving love and how do you give love the only way you give love is through serving there's nothing else there's nothing else about love if i need to express love towards anyone what do i do i serve them that's all i can do think about it F the fifth power the power of the heart the emotive power so summarizing the prime power the first power knowledge power next power course of power third power accumulative power fourth power organizational power fifth power well the power of the heart the emotive power the power of love the power of service the only way you can gain that power is through service the fifth power you obviously know which powers i personally am biased towards of course the first and the fifth goodbye dear diary